Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hoosier Garage for a nice short little tiny video, not a big long one that everybody gets bored with because of the attention deficit disorders everybody has today with their cell phones and all that kind of stuff, so I'm going to talk fast too. But we've got a front spoiler for our 72 Dodge. And you can see mostly it's taped in uh, green tape, a mix of frog tape and actual 3M body shop pinstriping or fine line type tape. And uh, we've got some black underneath here. Uh, you'll get to see that in a minute, but this is basically a preview show to what the colors are going to look like on the side of the van. But we're going to uh, get the spoiler on first. Nobody's really seen this spoiler too much anyways. I got it a while back through a, a place on eBay out of Canada. I think they call it Rob Show Cars. It's basically one of the old molds. And you had, I actually had to drill my own holes in it and put it under the support frame on the unibody. And it'll hang right underneath the bumper. Okay, so when I got it, I thought, well, I need to put some color on the front of this van uh, that pertains to the, the striping on the side. So what I did was design the stripe, and it kind of reminds you maybe of the 70, let's see, 80, well, actually about the 78 through 81 series of Z28 Camaro front spoilers where it kind of swoops up on the side, but this is a 72, so that came first, right? So uh, we've got... Three colors going on outside of the base color. It's it's red underneath all this, and I've actually painted the Hemi orange, and the lemon twist yellow is going to be next, and then there's TX9 black, which is what you're seeing now. It's going to be the pinstripe, right? So stay tuned. We're going to spray it, and we're going to get the rest of the tape pulled off after it dries. And we're going to be shooting yellow. That always takes a bit because it's so transparent, and I didn't put as much reducer in it this time so that it will allow it to flow. Uh, a little heavier, but hopefully it still flows out of our gun. So, yeah, that's a lot to say. You're watching the most unique automotive channel on YouTube, The Hoosier Garage. did have to mount this thing I figure some of you if you run across one of these spoilers or one similar you get kind of a concept of how they do fasten um, it'd be easier to see with the bumper off but I got tired of not having a bumper on so I painted this one silver and stuck it on and uh, so basically if you're used to these vans they have like a unibody substructure behind this bumper right here and it kind of bumps down here you see it hang down there. Well, that's what this shape here is accommodating, okay? So, some guys run three screws. I went ahead and ran four just for how I am, I guess, you know? So, we got one here, here, and then the other two right here, okay? That pretty much leaves it hanging on the ends, so you see a little hole here, and same thing on that side there, okay? So, with that one, there, I had to actually fabricate some little mounts because they, they come, 
this outer edge of it comes right inside the edge of the fender. So it's not like you can screw it directly to the fender. So I need to clean these up a little bit, but I just made them out of some, uh, I don't know, about 18 gauge tin. And they got some holes in them. I curved them a little bit because that's where it'll uh, come around there. If you stick your hand around it, you don't want to get your wrist cut and everybody think that you're trying to kill yourself. That sort of thing. And they're basically two identicals, all right? Just symmetrical. One side, I had to bend it a little bit. You just got to play with that because one side of that is down a little lower. That's just how fiberglass is than the other one. And I got these small self-tappers. That's what holds them in on the fender portion on the ends. And then these big boys here is what I have holding them and the four out in the middle. Also, I still want to apologize for the little blur that's happening there. They haven't sent me my new lens yet. And also on that note, I'd like to throw a big shout out to 318 Will Run. He sent me a mug the other day because I sent him some stickers. Uh, Y'all know I've been sending out some free stickers lately and that still, that still goes. If you want some stickers of the Hoosier Garage, I'll send you two of them for absolutely free. Just send me your uh, email address or uh, I'm sorry, your, your home address or PO box or whatever you're comfortable nutheads like me sending stuff to and then I'll send you two out. You can send me an email, right, at Hoosier Garage YT, as in YouTube, at gmail.com. I'll put it right below here so you can see it. But 318 will run. We're going to be having a match with this van versus his 77 van at the No Name Nationals, provided that we all make it there. I mean, these are 50 year old vehicles, at least mine is, and most of it's been untouched, like the radiator and stuff like that. But doing pretty good. So thanks, 318 will run for the mug. I'm going to give you some hot chocolate here in a bit because it's kind of a cool day. And it's like uh, almost the middle of May. So that's all right. At least it ain't muggy. And here we have it. It's back on and installed. And I like the contrast. I like the flow of the colors. It's very bold. It stands out. And now I'm just aching to get the ones on the side. You can kind of see where I have taped it off and I have scuffed the area. I was just mapping a lot of it out. And we'll discuss a few things about the prototype or the uh, the rendering I had originally versus what's going to happen in real life. But you can see it's kind of dulled out here and how it cuts through the window. And a lot of this is an account of these two windows, so I, I had to position the stripe this way. And you'll get to see why it's taking that kind of shape. So ultimately this is the preview colors fe5 rally red that's the base color the black is tx9 the yellow is fy1 and the orange is ev2 all mopar colors and uh yeah so thanks for joining along watching Hopefully it's getting exciting for you. Obviously it won't be as exciting for you as it is for me, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Just thanks for watching and come to the Hoosier Garage. We really appreciate it. And now, a classic Indiana car commercial. This is no ordinary van. It can predict rain doing 55 miles an hour. It can pinpoint fog while getting a fill-up. It can measure winds backing into a tight space. It can even see snow while idling at home. Say hello to Stan and his van. Weeknights, Stan and his van will be doing their nightly weather report from different locations around Indianapolis. Uh, Stan's the one who does the talking. Indiana's home.